Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. <laughs> Gotta start off with some trains. <laughs> I just spotted them coming up there then I thought, oh look, oh, could have had a double passing shot. <laughs> um, right, I've deleted them roads from there because they were a mess. <clears throat> I'm going to redo this. I've managed to squeeze a road in around here so I'm going to put some... Uh, some housing around here, some high rises, and I want to get, I want to get this bit done today. I've taken out that brick wall. <coughs> Excuse me, I've suddenly come very croaky. Um, I've taken out that brick wall that I had in, that was all the way around me, down here as well. Oops. Back in over a toy. <laughs> um, yeah. It was too tall. You couldn't see anything off these trains. Let's just jump on this one quickly. So at least you can see the buildings and the road now and stuff. But before it was right up here, so you couldn't even see the buildings. Or anything. You could just about see the tops of these. But I had a little ride around on it, and that's all you could see was just tops of the nearest buildings. Um, you can see that all right. Oh yeah, it's better now. These set to the first on the low. Um, got high and low so I've only dropped them a little bit I did try the different sizes and see what they look like and I thought that was, a, that was the best one I've got a decent ball there but at least you can see over it jump out of this train into the middle of a building <laughs> um, so yeah I've not done anything else I don't think I did get trams running down here, I don't know if I mentioned it. I've got the Goddardville trams on here at the moment. Just because I like them. There's a faster tram available, a bigger tram along with more passengers, but there's hardly anybody riding them anyway. <laughs> and I like these little red cream trams. Quite nice. Vintage looking. Um, so yeah, that was it. Really? Nothing else to add? Yeah. Right, so what I want to do today is I want to get on with this. I want to get this area filled in. And I want to get this done. And then I can make a start on the uh, industrial area on this side. I think before I put any industrial in, I want to, I want to make a big sidings down here. Coming down here, or maybe with another shed, and then turn this into a sort of area. A load of cars and trucks and things in there. Get all this filled in with rail and get loads of carriages on there and stuff. I also want to get a depot up here somewhere just to give access to these tracks. Because if I try and send anything back from there, it causes a traffic jam, a uh, train jam here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do want to get something out here and then connect up this side of the station as well. I won't be using it like but... <laughs> use it as a bit of decoration and then if I manage to get all that done <laughs> I might get some work done on the uh, industrial area start getting some fences around here and get some trucks and stuff in a few cranes along here and things some boxes around the place get some fences around it I was thinking having like a big sort of car and truck area here as well not going to put anything over this side. Just... Oh, it just got very windy outside all of a sudden. <laughs> Sent the dogs nuts. Right, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Right, so yeah, if I do manage to get down here, we'll see how far I get. This shouldn't take me too long. I'm just going to put in the uh, sort of tenement. These housing project ones so I'll pretty, get this area filled in pretty quick let's whack a few trees around them stick a bit of gravel on the floor or something I'm not going to go too heavy on the detail I might do sort of older buildings on this side I managed to squeeze a bridge in and I've left room to get more tracks down this way because I want to get this side of the station connected up but uh, I'm not touching that just yet Yep, we might as well start here. 
get this bit done first and then work my way back round. Right, I'll jump into a speed build because <coughs> I'm going very croaky. <laughs> right, let me stick fast forward and uh, let me stick some music on and I'll see you in a bit.
Right, how far did I say I was going to get? <laughs> I probably would have got quite a bit further if I hadn't spent ages turning this into a hotel. I don't know why I did. I just... I just it started off, I was going to build offices. And... Um, <laughs> for some reason I ended up building a hotel. I think that looks quite... Uh, well, that was quite good. Quite happy with the way that's come out. I mean, obviously, they would have a bigger car park in reality. <laughs> with all them rooms. Yeah, it was meant to be sort of like a an office area. I was going to have these as offices. But as I sort of built around it and looked at it, I thought, it looked more like offices. It looks more like a hotel. So, yeah. In hindsight, I think if I was doing it again, I think I wouldn't put these in. I think I'd put a wall around it and sort of just expand that. Instead of having all these buildings within the perimeter, I think I'd sort of give it its own area. I think I might have another go, because I've got flags and things I could put on the roof and stuff. Maybe more signs. I could have done with a bigger hotel sign, really. <laughs> these could do with a couple of signs on them, like cafes. Right, so we've got high rises sort of gradually getting smaller as we get away from the city centre. Um, I've kept these relatively low because these would be quite low desirable area being right next to the motorway and being overlooked by the uh, <laughs> by the kind of low, <laughs> low class area. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Anybody who lives anywhere like this. I've lived in places like this myself. <laughs> On the edges of cities and stuff. <coughs> you can only get what you can afford. Can't all afford to live in these big swanky high rises overlooking lakes and stuff. Yeah, so I need to I need to finish this bit off. And uh that won't take long. I just wanna I wanna do something similar to what I've done over here. And then, yeah, I think that side's pretty much done. It's bugging me that I haven't finished that bit off now. I would have been at it for another half hour at least, so I've had enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get that done. I might do it before the next episode, because I'm only going to do something like this, pretty much the same as that, just in both of them little areas. And then, um, we'll start on the industrial. I've been itching to get on with this for ages. I want to get all this side all done up. It's probably going to be, <laughs> judging by how far I keep getting, it's probably going to be two or three episodes in this. Depending on how much detail I go into. But yeah, the city's looking pretty good. I still need to do these. I'll do them at some point. I'll do them off camera because all I'm going to do, I think, is just go up with bushes in some of them and put a few benches and things, a few little build, little advertising boards and stuff. Do the same here, just put some bushes and things in. So I'll I'll get them done at some point when I'm not recording. But yeah, be cold <laughs> Yeah, that'll do quite happy with that. Right, I'm going to call it a night. Alright, thanks again for watching and I'll see you really soon. Bye bye.